Are you trying to figure out how to remove the background of a photo so it goes from this to this? Well, if that's the case, you've made it to the right video. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com, and on this channel, I try to help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. In today's video, I'm gonna go into three different ways to remove a background from an image. So I will say that I have tested none of these on a mobile device because I'm just a desktop girl. So if you're looking for a way to do this on a mobile device, some of these ways might work, they might not work, I'm not too sure. But if you're using a desktop or a laptop or something like that, then we should be good to go. So let's kick it into the screen share. Okay, so the first free tool is actually called Remove BG. BG stands for background. How creative, I know, but we love free tools. Okay, so basically I will leave a link to this in the video description box below, but you can literally just go to remove.bg and it should send you right over here. Okay, so we are just going to drop an image into this box here and then it kind of goes through and does its magic. Now I will say this is the interesting thing, regardless of the tool that you're using, it kind of like depends on the photo that you're using. Like some photos, it's way easier to remove the background. Like if you have a logo or something like that, but more complex images like this, it's kind of hard for tools to be able to tell like what's a background and what's not. But I will say that like this tool makes it pretty easy to go ahead and remove other stuff. Like let's say I definitely don't want the couch in there. So we can go ahead and click erase restore. And then we can just use this tool to go through and just roughly outline where we want to remove it so that the tool is very clear on like what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. And then it kind of goes through it and it kind of like softens out the edges there. So if you just saw before, I wasn't like super particular with how close I was getting to my arm there, but notice that it cleaned it up pretty well, especially for a free tool. So we can just go ahead and do it like this and then kind of just like fill all of this in. So honestly, that looks pretty good. The only other thing is like after I download this image, I might just crop it like right below the laptop just because my leg looks a little awkward, but obviously it's going to depend on the photo that you're using. If it deleted something that you actually want in the photo and you didn't want deleted, you can mess around with the restore option here. You can mess with the brush size do whatever you gotta do. But essentially when you're ready to download, click that X button and then just go ahead and click download. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So the second option for removing the background of an image is actually if you have a Mac computer. I don't know when they added this, but like it's really helpful. So let's say we just have the image hanging out on my desktop here. We're gonna go ahead and right click and then we're gonna, we're gonna go down to quick actions and then just click remove background. So you give it a hot second, look at that. When I first figured this out, I was like, who knew? Maybe Mac did this like four years ago, but I literally just found it like two weeks ago. So I'm a little mind blown on it. But like I said, I'm gonna have to get rid of my legs here. So I'm gonna go through and crop the image. And kind of like the other tool, Mac might be really good at figuring out what you want to keep and what you don't wanna keep. But this option might get a little annoying if it's confused because you don't have that like erase, restore functionality like the previous tool did, okay? So the other thing is you can go ahead and just open it and like your image preview and you can do the same thing up here. So you can go ahead and go to tools and then come back down here to remove background. Bam. They make it so easy. This is so cool. And then obviously you would just save it to your computer. So that is the second way. And then the third way is using Canva. Now I will say I do have the pro version of Canva just because I use it for like creating all of these graphics for my own business. But I don't think that you can use this tool as of right now with the free version. Unfortunately, if you already have the paid version of Canva, what you can do is click on the image and basically any design that you have, and then you can choose BG Remover 
and it will go ahead and like remove the background, but it kind of gets annoying, similar to the Mac option where like you don't have that erase or restore button functionality like you do with this totally free tool. I don't know if by the time you're watching it, Canva is going to go ahead and update this. I would love for them to update it. Or maybe there's a way that I don't know about, but that's what I know so far. And then the other way to get there if you don't have BG Remover up here is you can click Apps in the side menu, and then you can just type in Remover in here, click Enter on your keyboard, and then you can mess around with these extra apps. Maybe they're a little bit better than the native functionality in Canva. You can play around with them, but essentially you can just click on them. You can go ahead and choose your file from your media library or upload from your computer, and you should be able to figure out a solution to go ahead and remove the background of a photo Photo using Canva. So that's it for today's video. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly, this simple thumbs up does go a long way in letting the YouTube algorithm know that my video is helpful and therefore hopefully pushing it out to more people that also might find it helpful. And if you have any questions about anything or if you have a different tool that you love using to help remove a background from an image, definitely leave me a comment below the video. I love hearing about new tools and I just like hearing questions about what you guys have as you're kind of watching these tutorials. But if you're not already subscribed to the channel, before you go, hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.